here from Cobalt. I'm going to show you today our new PvP realm. I'm very excited about this. We've been working hard on this new PvP realm, uh, and I'm excited to show it off to you and uh, kind of give you a little tutorial about how the realm works. So the first thing when you log into our IP address, play.cobalt-mc.com, the link is in the description there for you, uh, you'll see all these different servers that we have. Now, PvP is the one you want to join. Now, right now, we have it in a, in a whitelist beta for just a few people, but as soon as it's released, everyone will be able to log in to PvP. So I'm going to quick hop over there and log in. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that we have a beta spawn, and, and while I go through the stuff on the server, keep in mind this is all beta, so it very well may change. Uh, the look of things is going to change drastically by the time it's released, but this is just a little video to kind of give you a little overview of the server. So I'm going to go through the stuff in my inventory down here, uh, and you can kind of see I'm going to start with the custom kits. So when I right-click custom kits, I get a, a list of all the kits that I have. Um, now you're going to have a different amount of kits based on the donor rank that you are. So premiums get 9, uh, elites get 8, 7, and 6 each time you go down a rank. Um, so the more you donate, the more kits that you get to, to customize. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is click the kit 1 here. So I'm going to left click to edit kit. And here's the kit editor interface. The first thing you can do is rename it. So let's call it, uh, I'm going to rename it to demo kit. So here's the demo kit. Now it's called demo kit. Uh, these are the points that it has. And you can preview the kit as well. Uh, it only has 10 points right now. Um, so I'll show you what that means later. You can change your play style. So if you like to do soup, so like if you if you like to play soup, um, where you right click soup to heal yourself, you can heal yourself with potions, or you can just go survival style where it gives you lots of hearts, but you can't heal yourself when you choose. Um, you can also reset your kit if you want to reset it back to normal. I'll do that. Now it's back to the kit one here. So let's just rename it real quick to demo kit. You can go back, of course, but then the real thing I want to show you here is the add ability. So uh, I have right now unlocked all of the abilities, but you will not have all of the abilities. You will only have a certain amount. You'll only, only have a, a few when you first start out, about 10. Um, so you can look through all these abilities on our website. We'll have a big list of them in the wiki, so you can learn about what they do, but you can kind of hover over them and see. Uh, the first thing you want to notice is the ability cost. You can see that right there. Uh, this one, for example, just costs one point, but this one here costs three points. So you have 10 points total. So you can combine any of the abilities that you want to get to that 10 points. Or you can do less than 10 if you really want to, but I would not recommend that. So let's add the jellyfish ability. So that cost one point. See that? So now we have nine points left. So we can go add more abilities if we want to. I'm gonna go over to the next page and find some really expensive abilities. Here's some four ones. Here's a grandpa ability. You start with a knockback two stick. Let's add that one in there. Now I have five points left. So let's add another ability here. Uh, see if I can go all the way to the last page. Um, I want to get some pretty expensive. There's an expensive one, but I only have five points, so I can't add the kangaroo ability because I only have five and I need six. This one costs nine, so this one will pretty much take up all of your slots. Um, let's go back and I want to find something that costs five. There we go. There's a five ability, so now I have zero left. So I can't add any more abilities, no matter how hard I try, because I've used up all my points. So now my kit is ready to go. I have all these items in here, and they all do different things. You can also see there's different colors. So the uh, the colors correspond to the rarity of the ability. So right here, this is like a white uh, ability that's common. This is probably, uh, like right here, this this one here is, is a rare one or an epic one. There's legendary. There's all different types of rarities you can get. Now, in order to actually get abilities, you need to unlock chests. So here's my collection. I'm going to right-click this. Now, you can filter by my abilities. Now, right here, you'll see a list of all the abilities you have. So this it won't be this full because I have all the abilities, um, but you'll maybe have a few of them. You can actually have multiple abilities. So you might have two of the noob ability, and you can sell one of them because you can't equip both. So you, you can sell one of them and get some coins. Um, you can also filter all the abilities, or you can find the seasonal abilities as well, and I'll explain those later. You can also uh, change the filter, so if you want to sort alphabetically or, or normally, your choice. You can also search. So let's just search for, let's say I want to find the noob ability. So here we go. Let's search for noob, and there it is. And you can learn about it or sell it, because there's a lot of abilities to go through. So I'm going to hit back. That was my collection, and then my custom kits as well. So let's go over to start playing. Um, I'm going to have someone else come play with me, so you can kind of see. But I'm going to right-click the compass. And here are the things that you can do right now. We have training that's going to come soon, but there's three main game modes. Deathmatch, Dual Arena, and Tournament. So let's do a deathmatch here. And you can choose your map. Uh, you can click that one. And now you can see all the different kits that I currently have. So here's that demo kit we just made. It's a soup playstyle, as you can see. So we're going to get a lot of soup that we can use to heal ourselves. 
but you can see there there's my three abilities so let's choose that and here I am oh boy he's trying to attack me already and I'm probably gonna die unless I eat my soup so I'm gonna run away here but he had an exploding chickens ability which is actually very effective right now so let's get out of here so the chickens don't kill me all right perfect so now you can see my abilities and my inventory are right here and he's trying to get me so I'm gonna use one of my abilities let's use the grandpa ability knock him back a little bit there we go he's he knocked back a little bit uh, I'm gonna keep using my soup here and what else do I have the ocean ability I don't know what this does but oh hey look at that that's cool so abilities do all different things here's the jellyfish ability so I can uh, use that I don't know what they do but you can look at them and see what they do so if you write if you open up your inventory you can see uh, what the different abilities do so right click your item to create water where you're looking so there's some water so the ocean grandpa ability oh sorry the ocean ability actually makes a whole ocean but the jellyfish ability makes a little bit of water so you can do different things with all of that the ocean ability um, is good for drowning people maybe but the uh, jellyfish ability is good for healing yourself from fire so you can combine all these abilities and as soon as you die you'll get sent back to the spawn let's go back to the uh, the death match and I'm gonna choose a different kit so I made this kit before this, this kit's kinda of fun so I chose different abilities here and let's uh, light him on fire there and there's a scavenger ability you can right click to get a milk bucket which might help you with potion effects it gives you a random ability there's a chicken horde ability so let's spawn some chickens and they'll all explode on that person right there so you can see there's a bunch of different abilities um, I'm gonna go do a duel and show you uh, what a duel looks like so I'm gonna head back to PvP let's log in and now I'm gonna go to start playing you can right click that and choose a duel arena so I'm gonna do a casual match so right now I'm searching for a duel so uh, let's see if we can get into a casual match here so right now as soon as someone else goes into start playing and chooses a duel arena casual match just like they just did now we're playing a duel so let's do uh, let's try this kit right here so I just equipped the kit it has a lot of uh, common abilities in it so let's go ahead and start fighting so this is actually an ability uh, not my kit doesn't have a lot of like powerful abilities maybe just common ones but here's I just equipped a speed drug another speed oh wow I'm going really fast and he and this is a survival kit as you can see I have a lot of hearts so I don't get any super potions but I have a lot of hearts so if you don't like playing with super potions then you can definitely play um, sur uh, survival play style which will help a lot so he's got a potion play style see how he's dropping all those potions on himself to heal him uh, let's oh now I got a, a kill streak so I'm, I hit him four times and he just dropped see that that water there to help him out of the fire so he actually has a pretty good kit where he uh, he has fire, but in case he gets caught in the fire, then uh, you know you can go in the water and, and heal yourself. So here's a jump ability. I can jump up high, and a lot of these abilities you have to right click to uh, to make work. So like I would right click the slime to jump, and then there's a cooldown on the abilities as well. So you can't use them all the time. Here's a skeleton ability that launches some skeletons at him. They're on fire right now. And as soon as I die, let's let's just go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll die right now. Um, then you head back to the spawn. So as soon as someone wins a duel, that looks like I'm gonna definitely die here. But as soon as someone wins a duel, they'll uh, they'll get rewarded. And casual matches, you don't actually get any rewards um, because it's just casual, just for fun, trying to play and, and test out the abilities with someone else. But let's do start playing, and I uh, I lost a casual match. Let's do a duel. You can do a league match. Now leagues are cool because they have trophies and seasons. So, uh, let's see, let's do a league match. So, here's the, the league match. So, you can read this description here, but right now we're in a season called Hardcore Games, and uh, I have one trophy right now, but in league matches, you can actually uh, get more trophies. Now, I can't use these kits because they contain non-seasonal abilities, but I can use this kit because there's no abilities in it. So, um, make sure that when you make kits, you also make them with seasonal abilities. You can learn about seasonal abilities at our wiki page and learn what current season we're in and what abilities are seasonal. And that kind of helps spice up the ability pool. Right now, I don't think he has a, uh, a kit that has seasonal abilities either. So right now we're just fighting vanilla PvP, which is fine. Um, so this, this might take a while to kill him, but you get the point. So seasonal abilities are cool, and then when, once you get enough trophies, at the end of the season, and you'll you can read what the season information is by typing slash season if you want to. Uh, you can also learn all of that at our website as well. But it'll tell you that there's 12 days left in this hardcore game season, and as soon as I play, see I lost a league match, and then watch what happens. My trophy count 
is going to go down actually from one to zero so he just got one trophy now uh, you'll start with a few more trophies more than one uh, but then you can gain more trophies so now this person here has more trophies and he's currently winning the league um, so he's technically in the league right now and only 25 abilities are allowed so in 12 days if he has the most trophies he'll get a nice chest and coin reward so let me quick talk about chests and coins for you real quick so if I do slash chest I have chests right here and I can buy some online um, with gems or I can buy them with coins and coins are the in-game currency that you can get by killing people and winning matches stuff like that but I can open a chest and you can see the rarity colors right there so I open a chest and this is how you actually unlock abilities so I unlocked the Neo ability you're unaffected by projectiles and you change the projectiles direction so this is a good ability right here um, so I just unlocked that so now in my collection when I go to my abilities I will actually have that in there I don't have it right now because I have all of them but you'll see all the abilities that you unlock and now when I do slash chest I have nine chests left to open so I can open another chest if I want to and I'll get abilities from that chest and I got the anchor ability that's a pretty rare one I don't receive or deal knockback so if someone had a knockback stick, I would be unaffected by it, which is pretty cool. So you can strategically use all these abilities to make a really good kit, and you can use some abilities to deflect other abilities. So um, that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to do a dead man duel match. I'm going to show you this. This is pretty cool. If you play dead man in the duel arena, this is dangerous because anything, anytime that you die, you will lose all of the abilities in that kit. So here's the deal right now. So I currently... Um, if I were to lose this match, all of the abilities in this kit that I applied would be given to this person right here. And if they were to win, then I would get all their abilities in the kit that they have. So um, this game mode is not totally finished yet, but it's uh, it works pretty well. And as soon as you kill them, you'll get their abilities. But you don't want to die because then you'll lose all your abilities. Now, if they were to equip a kit that had no abilities, then you would obviously win because abilities, you know, they help you win. Um, so let's hop in here real quick. And uh, so if they equip a kit with no abilities, I would not get any abilities for winning, but I would win a match and I would get coins. So it looks like right now that person just died and I won the dead man match. So I just got all the abilities in their kit. See that? I got a new ability, the chicken's ability, Hades, lots of different abilities that they had in their kit. They no longer have those abilities anymore. So they also just lost those abilities. Um, the last thing that I'm going to show you here is the profile and some of the quests. So in your profile, you can see... Uh, you can get help on the server, so if you want to know some of the commands around the, the server, you can. Um, you can also view your profile. There's stats that you have. So you can see right here, uh, I have some stats, and you, they, might, they may be, we might add more later. So this is just what I got for now. And then there's settings as well, so you can configure those, and then you can see the staff members on the server. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is the quests. Now, every day, you have a chance of getting a new quest. So if I were right now, see, there's three chests that I have, three, three quests. And this one says, Welcome to Cobalt. So I am currently have killed five out of the 50 people of this kit. So I would have to play 50 games and win all 50 or play 100 and win half of them in order to win. I get 12 chests and 10,000 coins. That is a lot of coins and chests. This is a really good reward. Um, and this is the kit that you get when you first log in. So I would definitely recommend kill a lot of people because you get a lot of good rewards. But then you also have other kits that you can get. So um, my other quests that you can get, excuse me. So here you can kill 20 players with any soup style. Uh, so if you have, you have to do a soup play style, so you go to your kits, you can left click to edit the kit, and then this is the play style right here. The soup style is the one where you get all the soup. So I have to be a kit with a soup style in order to advance that reward um, for that quest. And as soon as you complete a quest, you have an empty slot that the next day will be filled. So let's say that I were to complete this quest, this slot would now be empty, and then tomorrow there would be a new quest waiting for me. So it's good to complete as many quests as you can, because every day you can get new ones to get more rewards. Um, this should be all that you need to get started on the PvP server. If you have any questions, make sure you post on the forums. Um, I'm really excited. This is brand new to Cobalt, uh, and I hope it works out well. If you enjoy it, let me know. If you don't enjoy it, let me know what you don't enjoy about it. Thanks for watching.